Hello, do you want a perfect pool stroke? I will teach you how. Okay, so there are two different perfect strokes you can use depending on your skill level. If you are beginner, amateur or even pro, you can use my first example. My second example is if you are at the pro level and you want extra accuracy. So first I will show you the continuous stroke. It is a smooth flowing stroke without, without any pauses at all. And this, it is like this one. Okay, you go down, no pauses. Just continue on the last, on the last stroke when you pull the trigger. No pauses at all. And I will show it again. You, you go down to shoot, you make the swings, and then you just follow through immediately. No pauses. And this is best for speed control. So after you have mastered that stroke and you get perfect speed control, you get better speed control than the table itself. Then it is time to move on to the next level. Okay? So you can actually get better speed control than a table because if you, if you have perfect speed, then you know that the cue ball will stop exactly here, for example. But the tables are not uh, perfect. The table will roll off of line like that, or maybe somewhere there, and you can see that, that the cue ball does not roll straight. It will roll sometimes roll to the side like that. And that is the sign that you have a better speed control than the table itself. So what you want to do is you, you can sacrifice a little speed control in your stroke to gain accuracy. Okay? The, this, the flowing stroke, the smooth continuous stroke, it was perfect for speed control, but you don't, you don't need speed control anymore. You, you want more accuracy, okay? So what you want to do is you want to... I will show you this magic stroke here. I call it the Hendry stroke from Stephen Hendry, the great snooker player. And he does it like this. He goes down, okay, and then he makes strokes shorter and shorter strokes. This improves accuracy. And then he makes two, two quick ones at the end, pauses, and then backstroke, pauses, and then pulls the trigger. And it is important that the, your backstroke, the pause in your backstroke is long enough for the vibrations in your arm to settle, then to stop. You need, you need to relax your arm at the backstroke. After you have re relaxed everything, it is time to pull the trigger. I will show it again. Okay. Okay, no, pause here and pause here and stop. You need to let the vibration stop and relax your arm and then you pull the trigger. Like that. I will show it again. You go down to shoot. First you make a long back stroke, long, and then you move the forward. Shorter and shorter strokes. And then the final two quick ones, pause and then long, smooth backstroke, pause and then pull the trigger. And to further improve this stroke is by using a shorter strokes and a shorter backstroke because a shorter backstroke minimizes errors from happening. Okay, so if you have if you have a very, very, very long backstroke, you will get errors in the stroke. It is better to use a very short, short backstroke, like that. And this, when you do this, you need to make faster movements with, with, your, with your stroke. And that is what Henry does. Steve, Stephen Henry it, it looks very robotic and perfect when he does that. And that is... That is why I wanted to use it myself. Okay, so here many many snooker players they use longer strokes like this. I will show like this a very long. You see less accuracy there. I didn't hit that in the center of the pocket. But Stephen Hendry does shorter shorter strokes like this. See, much more accurate there. We saw the shorter backstroke, it improved accuracy because less things can go wrong. I will show you again. I 
Nu kör det igen. Ja. Shorter and shorter. And then backstroke. You see? Very little short strokes to get better accuracy. But you actually uh, reduce speed control. But if you already have a good speed control, you don't really need it. You can trade speed control for better accuracy. And this accuracy is very useful for cut shots, for example. Okay? So this is the end of the video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.